<laughs> I hate when that happens. Yeah, no, it's okay, though. It's, it's all good. We uh, got this covered. I still don't see the little word record on there. I don't either. Go oh, check there it, it is. out, brother. Is that, no, that's not it. Go In check it out. Right. I don't think it's on. Re-angle that camera, too, man. It's on. It is on? It's just in a red section of the uh, picture, Oh, that's is, what okay. it is. Strange. It is well, we've got out. yeah red wall panels we're throughout live. here. Hey. So, yeah. But, well, you say we're live on the radio, but you're not live on YouTube ever. No. You realize that, right? Yes, I realize that. Okay. And I realize when they sell CDs and it says live, they're all lying. It's not really live. It was recorded live. It was which recorded live. All CDs are recorded but live. But it does, it's not printed out. This is recorded live. It just says live. Yeah, it should say like live performance. Correct. Recorded from a live performance. Which still technically, it's a live performance. Correct. <laughs> but the, the, the way that it works though, it's a, you know, when you're in studio, the vocals are recorded at a different time. The guitars are recorded at a different time. Well, when it comes to the big names and stuff like that. But anyway, talking about some of the Chili Head uh, challenge items for today. Now, Tom, you've made some personal stuff, but you've also received some stuff. And uh, this is kind of kind of perfect for the Christmas season because, you know, it, it's a time of sweets and, and getting fat. Yes, it is. So um, since we're very close to the Christmas uh, day, and this is the Christmas season, we're going to have uh, some treats. I've made uh, my famous, our family famous, peanut butter balls, chocolate-covered okay. peanut butter balls, and, and I've added a little heat to the ones I brought. So you're calling them peanut butter pyros. That's what I'm calling I them. like it. Peanut like butter it. pyros. Um, I have Good. some uh, sweet... Caramel Ghost Popcorn, sent to me by Jim Duffy. He was my secret Santa, and he hooked me up big time. Ghost year. Popcorn? Ghost Popcorn. Oh, so well, I'm, 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 I might not try Santa. this. I'm going to let Rick try it first and see what right. he does, and then I will consider tasting it. And then for <laughs> review for I Love It Spicy, we have um, some habanero pretzel balls called okay. Holy Holy Cow from a company in Philadelphia <laughs> holy, holy called cow. Our, our company on in Pennsylvania called Pretzel for you. So. so there you go. So we got three little sweet treats for you today. And again, everything that we do here on the show, you'll be able to go back and watch on uh, YouTube either this afternoon or tomorrow, which is always uh, really fun to see the reactions to people and to see the tears well up in their eyes. And a lot of times when McJonesy does it, he turns red and he starts bouncing, which is always fun. <laughs> Ryan will um, turn white and just kind of relax. He yes. sits back and doesn't say anything. Then Rick, well, you never know what's going to happen with Rick. You never know. Yeah. So he. No Number one, he's always going to wave at the camera. We know always. that numerous times, yes. which is very pointless because no one can wave Nobody back. Nobody can wave Yeah, back. <laughs> that's like on the radio. You know, we were always taught, never ask a question on the radio. Like, how are you doing? Because no one can say, oh, I'm great. Right. You're not going to hear them. Right. You know, so that's a, like always a big radio rule. Rick's breaking a big time video rule by waving at the camera the way that he does all the time. Oh, well, there you go. See, he can wave at you and you can. He's waving at me. But he's, you know, like. I'm snubbing. It's the same thing. He's he, not going to wave back. Yeah, he's eight inches away from you. That's right. I think the wave is pointless. I'm just saying. Should I text him? Sure. Okay. You get on right on that. <laughs> All right, it's 818 Morning Overload, and uh, we'll be trying some of the stuff coming up in just a few moments with the Chili Head Challenge right here on Revocation Radio. Here's the cipher down with No Longer. He's a busy dude. He makes sure his camera's good, everything's recording, and he feels good about it. Man, it's impressive. You know, we've got it's the audio. The audio's going into it. Everything around here is good right now, and he's uh, he's preparing the peanut butter pyros. I do have a uh, I have a, a, a regular drink available to uh, help the burn if there is. I don't. Any. Oh well, you better go get one of those uh, drinks off the top of the refrigerator then. Yeah. Mini, mini, you, mini, mini. Ma you might want to do that. All right. So what we have is the peanut butter pyro. Now, what all do you put into the uh, peanut butter pyro there, Tom? Well, uh, this is a recipe that was my mom's, and, and basically it's a chocolate-covered peanut butter ball. Right. Um, I melt the chocolate. Um, I use milk chocolate and uh, paraffin so that it holds up well. Just a small amount of wax, actually. Right. Uh, the peanut butter. Has has peanut butter, uh, real butter, and um, powdered sugar, all mixed real quickly together, fluffily in a big mixer. Then I roll them in the balls, and then then uh, melt the chocolate and cover them in the chocolate. Okay. This also has a little something extra. It has a little seven pot Jonah powder. Ah. The seven pot Jonah, Jonah the powder is is very. Uh, lends itself well to sweet things, so that's why I used it. Now, okay. uh, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure my grandmother's recipe did not include hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, this is just a little taste. Hell, it's just hell a little taste. Powdered form of hell is what that is. <laughs> so seven pot Jonah included in. All right, so Rick, you go ahead and kick it off here. 
See what you got. He's going to chew no, it up. All of it. Wow. Well, yeah. He, yeah. Well, that, I suggest that's the way you yeah, eat it, right? That's right. I would mm. eat the, smooth, the whole thing I mean, at once. Yeah, they're mm. very smooth. Yeah. Is it burning yet? No. Oh. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> The chocolate's not hot, but the peanut butter is. So, yeah. <laughs> Second, mm. it was funny. Second number six, no, it was not burning. Second number seven, seven. yes. Mm. Yes, that's yes, burning. it's burning. Okay, now it's, it's good. good. It's good, though? It's real good. Oh, there's all the peanut butter. It's hot, but it's very it's good. It's hot. It's sweet. It's hot. It's sweet. It's hot. It it's is. sweet. Okay. It's, it's a perfect mixture of chocolate. And heat. But how many people really consider that a perfect mixture? That's what I want to know. You I know, know I that, do. You people aren't normal. You know well, that, it's right? It's kind of like that we chocolate do. that he brought in last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. It was like I was being punished for eating the chocolate. Right. It's the perfect Which diet. Which is a good plan it's for people perfect. trying to lose weight. Yeah. It's the perfect diet food. It's just like you want some chocolate, you're going to burn. Yeah. It's going to hurt. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you can see us looking over uh, to the what the left side of the, of the camera there. <laughs> yeah, it's and it's close. like, that's where Bauman's standing. You hear his voice, but you don't don't see him. That's There's his, his hand. hand. Yeah. All right, so there he is. So I see. Up. I'm waving at the camera. Yeah, and, just like Rick. And Bauman was like, "Listen, hi, Bauman. You don't want me in the picture. I'm gonna take it all up." And I was like, "Why would you say something <laughs> like that?" But you know what? It's funny. Yeah, we enjoyed that. And true. All right, so Bauman, did you did you eat your chocolate? All right, Bauman, you're next up on the chocolate list here. I'm gonna bite mine. You're gonna bite yours. That's we, how we got this little thing in our hands. I know. I know. You know, Tom, once, you can go ahead and do yours too. Once, you I'll be honest with you. Once I made some chocolate covered ants, they didn't melt in your mouth. They crawled in your hand. Oh. Oh, wow. Mm. Bad. Boo. Are you going to edit that part out? For I the, hope so. Video? No, I'm not. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Bad right. jokes by Tom. So so you really did just bite half of it? I always bite these. Really? Man, just mm-hmm. eat it, bro. Just eat it, man. Knock it out. Mm. All right, so how's that feeling? Oh, of course, you know. It's, it's I, not, it doesn't start right away. No, it, it's it's a buildup? Mm. It is. Okay, the seven. so the seven-pot cho- Jonah is a lot like the uh, ghost... Pepper, in other words, it's a, it's a build. It's not a quick heat or anything like that. Yeah. Oh, it okay. waits. Mm. <laughs> yes, a build. How you feeling? It's there. Pretty good. All right. Well, I'm about to get mine. And uh, you think you can handle this while I'm chewing? All right. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> John just put it in his mouth. He's chewing. He's making weird faces. It's really good. Yes, it is but good. just wait. I will. Remember, it's second. It's second in seven. Three, and then two, two, one. one. Okay, I feel it. <laughs> That's good. That's really good, though. Yeah, yeah. I got it on the tip of my tongue first. Mm-hmm. Okay, now it's going to the back of my mouth. All right. All right, there it is. Now I have to clear my throat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It builds but still, a that's bit. really good. Mm-hmm. Isn't that really nice? So, uh, so. <laughs> Makes me cough. This was the seven pot uh, powder, correct? Right, correct. Seven pot powder. No, I just put a full chili in there. Peanut butter and a chili. <laughs> I can see him doing it. Together. Well, the one thing I'll about working to. with candies is you want to use powders because mm. if you use fresh peppers, they have a certain amount of water in them, and it can right. affect the way the sugar reacts to the candy. Well, that's oh, what I was going to ask you. Have you ever considered doing a chocolate-dipped pepper? I've seen that. I haven't mm. done it. I saw it on YouTube, actually, a chocolate-covered ghost pepper. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's really good. I, by the way, I think it might, you know, because the super hots are all sweet and fruit. Some of them are fr- fruity, and some of them are citrusy. I think they would lend themselves well to doing things like that. It could be pretty cool, yeah. Yeah. You know what would be awesome before we tried that is do another one of those Szechuan buttons. Oh before yeah. We, yeah. Before, that, before we yeah, on top, that, yeah. The thing right. that was on top of the other chocolate. Right. Right. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah. And, and you know, I'm like I said, I'm, I mean, be nice. Chef, Chef Ricky with uh, the Madison Chocolatiers, he knows how to use all that stuff. I'm, yeah. Yes, he does. I'm not. I'm just an amateur Christmas candy maker. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but but I like this though because it is really good. It's very uh, good. It, the, the peanut like the peanut butter balls are awesome. Oh, and yeah. then you get the heat to go with it, so it creates a fun little effect that you're not expecting. But it, it's it's good though. I have people that Gosh, bring me too the fa- ingredients. Too bad you couldn't have figured this out like I don't know like 13 years ago. Well, the the heat yeah. wasn't around 13 years ago, but that's you know what happened was is I took my mother's recipes and right. tried to make them better. And and the reason I was able to do that is because I learned exactly what she already knew. Yeah. And so I, the only place to go from there was even, you know, try to experiment and make things better. And, and, and she I did that I with have. her mother's recipes, and too. She did. So. And I think uh, a lot of my mother's recipes I've turned into a lot healthier recipes. 
but I've also been able to uh, re- maintain the flavor and even add some flavors with a lot. My of grandmother, it, she she I'm started not waving, out. I'm raising my hand. She oh. started out. <laughs> she started out most of her recipes like Paula Dean. All right, put a stick of butter. Right. Yeah. <laughs> stick. Five well, pounds when, of when butter. When I was a kid, it wasn't even a stick of butter. It was like uh, it was like two cups of lard. Lard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, they went to the farm when they rendered the lard. Wow. I mean, wow. you know, yeah. animal fat. All right. Before so. we forget, Rick, what do you have to say? I, I want another piece of chocolate, please. Oh well, you have to ask Tom for you that. Have another. Piece All right. Of so there you go. Another piece of chocolate. We'll move forward with that. And uh, coming up, we've got uh, pretzel balls and Yum. hot popcorn as well. Right. Okay. So that's, that's coming good. up. We will try those next. Okay. Well, <laughs> at a, uh, our friend Greg was like, "Now, what's his YouTube channel again?" He said, "Never mind. I found it." All right. So yeah, <laughs> Rev Tommy. <laughs> Tell T-tone. him to subscribe. That's right. Subscribe. That'll and put you like. on forty, won't it? Mm-hmm. You're at one thirty nine, yeah. aren't you? He needs yes. one forty. And I'm about to have a subscriber appreciation contest with top three prizes that will be really, really good. The rules will be simple. Okay. It's not going to be your be hot people. sauce, is it? No, it won't be my <laughs> hot sauce. But, but um, I'm just kidding. Uh, but it will be uh, different things, chili-related uh, items. So uh, um, money. Uh, it's going to be just no money. No money. <laughs> no money. Money is going to feed hungry people That's for right. Christmas. That's exactly right. By the way, all right. It's 8:40 here on the morning overload. More coming up with the chili head challenge. You know what? I realized we didn't hit the uh, the the button to make it official. We'll do that. We'll do no. that next. Yeah, we got always got to make it official. That's right. That's but right. it wasn't really a true chili. Yeah, it wasn't challenge. a challenge. Yeah, so not a challenge. We're just having a taste test today. More coming up. It's the morning overload revocation radio. This isn't the popcorn. Well, review, yeah, it's but. not a popcorn review. So, on the popcorn, um, mm-hmm. on flavor three, it's, it's got a good caramel flavor, but it's but it's packaged popcorn, so it can't be like fresh popcorn, you know. Right, right. Have that. And so on heat, uh, it builds. It is hotter than the pretzel for you. Um, I would yes, say it is. five out of ten on the heat. Okay. Five out of ten on the heat. All right. So, again, from Rev Tommy Two-Tone, the official review for Pretzel For You. Once again, three and a half out of five. Three and a half out of five flaming hearts. All right. So, there you go. You heard it here on Revocation Radio with the weekly Chili Head Challenge. Mm-hmm. Now, um, to let you know, in two weeks, the week of Christmas, we will not be having a Chili Head Challenge because we will not be here that whole week. Merry Christmas. Yeah, we're, we're going to enjoy Christmas right. week, and we're going to step back and let the music <laughs> speak for itself. Yay. Yeah, Anthony's like, okay, sounds super duper. Oh, yep, yep. We can make that happen. Anyway, so great job, fellas, as always. So Rick what is, about you? What what did you think about the pretzel for you? Yeah. Oh, I thought they were both very good. Uh, with the pretzels, again, like we said, it was a very good pretzel mm-hmm. taste. What, you know, what would you rate them? Uh, for what? I mean, if the, if you the, were gonna do the flaming hearts, if, if overall, I'm gonna if overall, I'm gonna make overall. it a spicy, uh, well, I mean, because I don't, I'm not a chili head, right? That's so, so therefore know. I can't, I can't judge based on chili head standards, right? You know that's what I'm right. saying? That's why we want to know. As, as far as a snack, I mean, I'm not, I'm like you, I'm not gonna go for a hot snack hardly ever. Okay. But as a fun little challenge, um, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd give it a four out of five. That it's really good because you get a, a fun, good pretzel taste, and then it burns and it burns just enough and not too much. Right. So yeah, right. but but again with chili heads, you guys like stuff to be hotter, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm not I mean, gonna like well, stuff being so. I'll hot. be honest with you. If you can get a good pepper flavor and tone the heat down, you know that's the that's the secret. Yeah, right. It's because I'm gonna tell you. I think most of the chili heads we, we love the heat for certain reasons. But we love the flavor love of that the flavor, peppers, man. and that's why we suffer through the heat. I right. Believe. I mean, you look at me and say, Tom, you're having no reaction. When in reality, <laughs> yes, I am burning like you are. My mouth's on fire right now. The, the back of my lips, which I love that burn. Right. Uh, I've just learned and had a tolerance build up that I can talk through that. And um, for the most part, unless it's choking me. Yeah. Um, uh, and I've learned to deal with the repercussions that come later. You know, uh, <laughs> come later on well, your you, stomach you, and all I that. Mean, you, you know, you can give yourself capsaicin and cramps and right. be in a fetal position for three hours. They're awful. Absolutely. I and mean, it is. It is awful. There's nothing you can do yeah. for it. Um, so there you go. Well, I'm kind of like Tom. I would give it around a two out of five. He didn't um, say a two. He said a three and a half. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm like Tom. <laughs> if, I, if I'm going somewhere I for, give it a five. to the cabinet or whatever. I would give it a two out of five. Okay. Well, there you go. I ate 11 of those things and followed them up with, <laughs> with about eight or nine hot popcorn Well, things. you are the village chalidiot. We have to I make am. you do stuff that no one else does. So yep. Anyway, there but you go. Your official review. Good. Love both the products. Coming up next, the Apparel FX Top 5 at 9 Countdown. You've got about three minutes to get your votes in. Make so it happen. Make it happen now. Do it. Call, text. Revocation Radio. Morning Overload. <laughs> 